what's going on guys back at you with another video uh in a different truck today my truck broke yesterday yeah so yeah it uh the, i heard a pew and so it sounded like a turbo boot let go um pull over uh in oasis in illinois and uh i just couldn't couldn't find anything um, saw like one clamp that was a little loose, but not not bad. Um, tighten that up. Tighten all the other clamps just to make sure. Um, still had no turbo. Uh, so tried to limp it home. Uh, made it all the way to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, I had no turbo the entire way which is just crazy because I was at about 77,500 pounds total when I scaled out um so having no power like that was it was rough it was stressful I should have recorded definitely um I ended up limping it all the way to Kenosha uh, made it to exit 3033 and made it into a quick trip and parked it and uh, boss came with uh, my original Peterbilt uh, which is the spare truck now which is what I'm in right now um, and we hooked uh, the trailer up and I was just going to limp the truck the rest of the way home then I fired it back up and there was a new issue <laughs> so we ended up having to get it towed back to the shop so yeah I'm back in my original uh, 2011 flat top uh, white and gray Peterbilt truck number 42 um, it's a completely different style truck not the not that it's just a flat top but uh, being a Cummins verse I, I have a cat in mine in the yellow truck um, it just the shifting and the gas pedal and are just completely different like night and day it, it basically seems like I can't drive stick for the life of me anymore <laughs> but I'll get it on video and I'll show you guys what I mean because it's pretty rough <laughs> I, I look like I can't drive at all um but yeah follow along guys appreciate your uh um support uh like and subscribe um i'll keep putting these uh long form videos out and hopefully you guys enjoy thank you all right we're back in fond du lac wisconsin just gonna hop on the freeway head uh back towards the shop area and do some uh, local runs and then load something for tomorrow and be getting on 41 south bunch well I thought I recorded a bunch coming up to this point and then I realized I must not hit record that's what you get when you're new to recording yourself sometimes you can't see the camera when I'm wearing a POV I just thought it was on and it clearly wasn't oh well That's a nice dump.
top and fuel this bad boy up. Get uh, get her topped off. It's noon. Of course, it's packed here. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Guy pulled up so he could fill his reefer. If you don't know, uh, Reefer is a refrigerated uh, trailer, so that way you can uh, have cold products. Um, but it also runs a separate fuel tank on the trailer that you have to fill. It's got its own separate engine, fuel tank, all that. forward after you fuel let the next guy get in so he can fuel up it's common courtesy so many drivers don't do it though unfortunately but yeah do it if you can go in and get my receipt that new warehouse.
918,000 square feet. 